Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. We're out foraging again. It's uh, early October and we're in Herefordshire and uh, we found a lovely mushroom here for, well, a safe mushroom in my opinion, for novice foragers. There's a few reasons, but I think it's a nice safe mushroom. First and foremost is its size. These are the youngsters that you can see. There's uh, this one here, which is going to get to quite a quite a sizable mushroom, and uh, an even younger one, just a little bit damaged behind it there. But just over here, there's one that's a bit more mature for me to show you. Watch where you step there. <laughs> quite a bumpy field we're in. Now this one's a little bit more mature showing you all the same characteristics as the others it's just opening out and it'll open out to flat and dinner plate size this really is a big mushroom one of the biggest capped mushrooms that we get in britain so that's kind of your first key identifier for it the second thing is this kind of shaggy appearance on the cap and often this nipple in the middle of the cap as well none of those are quite as important as the features you get from the stem though so if you uh if you could just try and get a look down there you can see it's kind of very white at the base like a big mass of mycelial web and uh, you get that at the base of parasol mushrooms that's what this is now i'm gonna break him off and show you a few more key features now next one is this skirt or ring on the stem in the parasol family the well the the large side of the parasol family the macro lepiota side what you can do with pretty much all of them is unusual in the mushroom world so if i get this ring on the stem and just gently tease him off you'll find that you can quite easily oh well not so easily but you should normally be able to there you go quite easily slide the ring up and down the stem. You've got these white to off-white gills, even on the mature specimens. And you've got that very distinctive ring, very distinctive cap, nipple growing in grassland. It's a summer mushroom, a late summer mushroom. We're having an unseasonably warm September, October, so that's why it's out at the moment. But you do normally find them into September. And then lastly, the most important thing, for me anyway, because it differentiates this one from its look-alike brothers and sisters, the, the shaggy parasol and the macro lepiota mastoides. Um, the reason it's nice to, to have a key, uh, key identifier that, that differentiates this between those mushrooms, particularly the shaggy, is that the shaggy parasol looks very similar, but it makes a few people a little bit sick. This one, the parasol mushroom, doesn't make anyone sick as far as I know of, and it's a really, really tasty mushroom. This is the key identifier. If you can zoom in there on the stem, you've got this snake skin effect on the stem. Now that happens because the mushroom grows so fast, it just grows quickly and, and breaks the skin on the stem as it does. Now that's different to the shaggy parasol. The shaggy parasol has a smooth stem, so you should be able to tell the difference between this, Macro Lepiota Prochera, and that one, the shaggy parasol, Macro Lepiota Rocodes. Uh, so parasol for lunch today i think uh, if you want to if you want to find out more go to wildfooduk.com